Guess what day it is? Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan DeJesus here, and welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday video. So good to see all of your smiling faces yet again. And today we are gonna be talking all about how to give your shoes just a little bit of an extra shimmer, just a little bit of an extra pop at the end. Something that in my opinion is really gonna give them that custom feel and help them stand out in the long run. So we're gonna be taking something that looks like this and turn it into something that looks like this. Now, this is something that's really gonna give your artwork an added dimension. It's super easy to do, it looks great, and you're gonna have it down pack in the next, oh, I don't know, maybe two, maybe 10 minutes. That's how these things go sometimes. So without further ado, let's go ahead, throw two minutes on that clock and dive right in. So to kick things off, I've already laid down a four color gradient on the upper of these Jordan 1s in which I'm gonna be doing a Beastie Boys theme today. Now, basically what we're gonna be doing in order to achieve this effect in simpler terms is we're gonna be applying a metallic vignette around all of the various edges and panels of our pair of shoes. And in terms of color and paint selection, what I'm gonna be using today is the Angelus Metallic Gold, Copper, and Bronze paints. I'm gonna begin lightly applying my gold vignette in the bottom half of this gradient, so essentially in all the areas where I have my light red, along with my orange near the midsole. And I'm basically just applying a super light coat of paint around all of the various edges. I'm basically just misting the paint right on, not doing anywhere near as much if you were actually base coating the shoe. Then for the upper half of my gradient, since I'm working with some darker colors, I thought it would be better to apply a combo of copper and bronze rather than doing the gold on top of these. A couple other small things to keep in mind is that I do recommend thinning out your paint a little bit more than usual when applying an effect like this, and definitely start off lightly. You can always apply more of this effect. It's definitely gonna be easier to apply paint rather than trying to remove any paint. And what I absolutely love about this effect is that when you happen to catch these shoes in the right lighting, these are gonna have such a completely unique feel to them. So there you have it guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you liked this video, hopefully you got something out of it, and now you're ready to apply a shimmer effect on your own shoes. Please go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed, and everybody get out there and just create.